Number 40. If f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 2, which of the following statements are true? So, the function f is increasing for when x is greater than or equal to 3. So, what I would recommend is graphing this. So, I went ahead and graphed it. And as you can see here under my y equals, I have this equation. Now, if I hit graph, you can do a zoom fit if it doesn't sit in properly. You do a zoom fit under here, hitting zoom and going down to zoom zero. But when I hit the button trace, I can see here on my x values as I exceed three, what's happening to y as I go exceed three? Right now, y is getting greater, greater, and y continues to get greater. So, whoops. Which of the following statements are true? The function f is increasing for x is greater than or equal to 3. That's true. We just saw that that went up. The function f of x equals 0 has two non-real solutions. A non-real solution would happen on a graph when it has a turning point that doesn't hit the x-axis, like right here, for example, and right here. So if we look back at this function carefully, let's take a look at it. And I'm going to do a zoom out. You can see here that it doesn't have any two non-real functions. It actually does hit, if I actually zoom in really close, let me do a zoom standard. See if that gives me a better view on it. You can see here that it turns here without going straight up. If it went up in here and it went up and never went back down, then it wouldn't. These are three real solutions, so we're okay there. So the equation f of x has two non-zero solutions. That's not true. Definitely hits there. Now, f of x is greater than or equal to negative 16 for when x is greater than zero. Well, when x does equal zero, you can see here, this becomes zero, zero, and zero. This equation is two. And so we know that f of x is going to be greater than negative 16 for all values of x is greater than or equal to zero. So therefore, one, and three both work. Answer choice D.